Hi, welcome to Mr. Techpathy Tutorials. This is part 15 of Linux Device Drivers. In earlier session Linux Device Driver part 14, we discussed about important data structure used while Linux Device Driver programming. As a part of this, we discussed about file operations, file structures, inode number and inode structure. This session is an extension of previous session where we are going to learn further steps which needs to be followed before writing a sample character device driver. In this session, we'll learn about four topics. First topic is how to add a character device to Linux kernel. Under this topic, we'll discuss about cdev structure, cdev underscore alloc function, cdev underscore init function, cdev underscore add function. Second topic is how to remove a character device from Linux kernel. Under this topic, we'll learn about cdev underscore init function. Third topic is adding our skull character device to Linux kernel. Fourth topic is removing skull character device from Linux kernel. So let's jump to our first topic. How to add a character device to Linux kernel. In the earlier Linux device driver parts, we have discussed ways to register a character device and how to allocate a major and minor number to it. We have also covered the file operations and important data structures useful for character device programming. Now it's time to add your character device to your kernel. Let's see how a character device is added to Linux kernel. In Linux device driver part 14, while discussing inode structure, we learned that kernel uses structures of type struct cdev to represent characters internally. Struct cdev is one of the elements of inode structure. Note that if the kernel has to invoke your device, it has to register a structure of this type. This structure is defined in cdev.h Linux header file. This file carries cdev structure and its associated helper functions. So how do you allocate a cdev to your device? Kernel provides two ways to allocate and initialize cdev structure. Number one is to obtain a standalone cdev structure during runtime. We need to use this code for obtaining standalone cdev structure. To do this, you declare my underscore cdev which is a pointer to structure cdev and assign it with cdev alloc call. Note that my underscore cdev is cdev structure allocated here. Once cdev is allocated, you need to assign address of your device file operations to allocated cdev structure my underscore cdev. The second way to allocate cdev structure is by embedding the cdev structure within a device specific structure of your own. This is a bit simple. You just need to call cdev underscore init function with two input arguments. One is a pointer to cdev structure and the other is a pointer to your device file operations. In both cases, cdev structure is allocated and initialized with relevant device file operations. We have seen how to allocate and initialize cdev structures using two ways. Next and final step is to tell the kernel with below function call. cdev underscore add which takes three parameters. First parameter is dev, where dev is the cdev structure. The second parameter is num. Num is the first device number to which the device responds. The third parameter is the count. Count is the number of device numbers that should be associated with the device. Always remember to check the return value of cdev underscore add. If the function returns a negative error code, your device has not been added to the system. Note that once cdev underscore add is successful, your device is on live and its operations can be called by the kernel. Make sure not to call cdev underscore add until your driver is completely ready to handle file operations on the device. Just to recap, you learned that the kernel provides two ways to allocate the cdev structure. One is using cdev underscore alloc function to allocate cdev structure at runtime. The other is using cdev underscore init function call to embed cdev structure within a device specific structure of your own. At the end, you use cdev underscore add to add your device to Linux kernel. Hope first topic is clear to you. Now let's move to our second topic, removing a character device from Linux kernel. We have seen how to add cdev structure to Linux kernel. Let's learn how to remove it from Linux kernel. To remove a character device from Linux kernel, we need to use below function. We call cdev underscore del function with a cdev structure pointer dev. This dev pointer is the one which we used for cdev underscore add function call earlier. Just for your information, never ever access cdev structure after passing it to cdev underscore del function. From Linux device driver part 13, we made a habit of learning a Linux device driver concept and applying it to skull device driver. First, 
We wrote a small code snippet to allocate a region for Skull device driver in Linux device driver part 13. In part 14, we learned about Skull file operations. In this session, we learned a new concept of adding and removing character device to Linux kernel. We are going to see how a Skull character device is added and removed to Linux kernel in our third and fourth topics. Remember, we decided to integrate all the small code snippets of Skull device driver into one at the end after learning necessary concepts required for Linux device driver programming. Our third topic is adding Skull character device to Linux kernel. But before learning the procedure to add Skull device to Linux kernel, let's learn about Skull device structure. This is the way how Skull underscore dev structure is defined. Please don't panic by seeing this structure. We'll discuss various fields in the structure as we come to them. Just remember that cdev structure is embedded within skull underscore dev structure. For time being, let's totally concentrate on cdev structure in skull underscore dev which interfaces our skull device driver to Linux kernel. Now let's start learning the procedure to add skull device to Linux kernel. While starting this session, we discussed about two ways to add character device driver to Linux kernel. One way is during runtime by using cdev underscore alloc. The second way is to use cdev underscore init. Let's use second way to add our skull device to Linux kernel. Below is a small code snippet from orally Linux device driver book. As you can see, the name of the function which adds our skull device to Linux kernel is named as skull underscore setup underscore cdev. We are passing two arguments to this function. First parameter is dev which is a pointer to skull device structure and the second parameter is index which is of type integer. Right after entering the function, we declare two integer variables error and device number, where device number is initialized with mkdev macro which returns a 32-bit device underscore t quantity with a known major and minor numbers of your skull device. If you are not sure about makedev macro, please watch Linux device driver part 12. Right after retrieving dev underscore t quantity, we call cdev underscore init function with two arguments. One argument is address of skull device cdev structure. The second argument is address to skull file operations. Similar to file underscore operation structure, which we discussed in Linux device driver part 14, structure cdev has a owner field that should be set to this module. We assign the cdev structure owner as this underscore module. Next, store skull file operations address into your cdev ops. Finally, we use cdev underscore add function which adds our skull device to Linux kernel. We pass three arguments to this function. First is the address of skull cdev structure which is initialized above. Second is the device number which carries the major and minor number of skull device. Third is the count value of 1 which tells the kernel that there is only one device associated with these device numbers. Note that the device numbers here are major and minor numbers. At the end, we check if the return value of cdev underscore add and print debug accordingly. Just to recap, after learning how to add a character device to Linux kernel in first topic, we walk through a small code snippet in third topic. This small code snippet initializes the cdev structure which is a part of skull device skull underscore dev and makes calls to cdev init and cdev add functions to add skull device to Linux kernel. Coming to our final topic of this session, removing a skull character device from Linux kernel. We use cdev underscore del function to do this. We pass address of skull cdev structure which is used while calling cdev underscore add function. Hope you are clear on discussed four topics. Thanks for watching this tutorial.